demonstration, we will test a logic gate using Tina's interactive mode. To begin, we create a simple circuit with an AND gate. To do this, we select the Gates tab. Next, we click to select the AND2 gate, which has two inputs, and place it on the screen. Next, we add switches by selecting the Switches tab. Click on the high-low switch and place it near the input pins of the AND gate. We place another high-low switch using the same technique. Next, we connect the switches to the input terminals of the gate. We use the technique demonstrated in previous tutorials. Now the circuit is complete. To test the circuit, we simply click the DIG interactive mode on off button. If Tina is not already in this mode, click on the select interactive mode button and select the digital mode. Once this is done, we can press the DIG button. The logic states now appear. Red denotes logic high, blue, logic low. If both of the switches and the inputs are high, so is the output level of the gate. If either or both of the switches are at low, so is the output level. We can toggle between high and low levels on the switches to demonstrate this. To do this, we move the mouse over the switch and click when the cursor becomes an arrow. Other gates and logic circuits may be checked in the same way. This concludes our tutorial, testing basic logic gates interactively with Tina.